Maybe the Delaware graffiti forums weren't a very cool place to hang out in after all. When graffiti artists like Banksy end up as international celebrities, even doing a recent Simpsons opening montage and the public still doesn't even know who his true identity is, what did I think I'd find on a graffiti forum? This isn't even a real telephone call, but this is all just, I just made this with spray paint. It's not even a real telephone pole. Except perhaps for lonely old artists named Moist, maybe even posing as someone else, or teenagers, egging me on to steal spray paint. What was I becoming? A shoplifting tagger? While I may never have intended to steal any paint, I did want to get into character, so I bought a hat off a tagger I met who was trying to make an honest living. The clerk at the first art supply store you know, was like, a little skeptical. Like, uh, whatever they come up with, they somehow get the stuff off. I'm not following you on that part. What do you mean? Um, I just want to make sure that if I'm doing any tagging or any graffiti, that this wouldn't come off of like glass or uh, like. Well, any any that. paint's going to come off of glass. You can just scrape it off with a razor blade. What about like underneath the uh, I-95 overpass? You're graffitiing something? No, 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 <laughs> okay. no, no, no. I'm just part of a crew, and they've kind of. They've been asking me to buy paint for them. They're graffiti? No, I don't know. Um, it, it could be on glass, yeah. The second store I went to was really helpful. Okay. Um, if it's not on glass. I need, I need to make sure it's something that, that like any type of anti-graffiti brigade wouldn't be able to get off. Hmm. Um, the next style is uh, on the next one for the end, you'll see a section called gloss enamel. All right. Is that really hard to get off? Um, it's harder than just these regular acrylics because of the enamel, but it's, it's not so much... While it will take more negative influence than an art supply store to launch a destructive tagging career, people like Chuck Stark and the Delaware Anti-Graffiti Brigade think that the best way to rehabilitate some of the more talented guys is for them to work on something like Philadelphia's Mural Arts Program, which tries to help channel art talent that has gone bad to the bone criminal. Well, enough graffiti. It's off to Delaware City for our first search in Forgotten Delaware. When most people think of Delaware City, they think of what? What do most Delawareans think of Delaware City? It certainly isn't a place many of us are just driving through.